Hi guys, welcome to part 12 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. A little more than three months of work started the first weekend of July, but it is still very, very, very rough. I need to start adding some details. So I will add some vegetation all along the lake and the mini river. Finally, you will see the result of using the Teloxis Aristata, the sea foam, to simulate trees. I hope to get a decent result. Then I will continue with the second teammate section. A little, not. I will not finish it. Then, for that purpose, I will need to uh, move the school from where it is, too close to the second teammate section. I will try to find in my Lemax collection a building to switch with the school. Then, a couple more buildings from Lemax, maybe yes. And a new building from the right side, also maybe yes. Then, some surprises. I don't know right now, because it is uh, important just to start to show you something. Let's go. Good! Some weeks ago I shown you the Teloxis Aristata that I have here, the sea foam, that it will be a good way to simulate uh, trees. Uh, obviously, I need to flock it a little more to paint it, but this could be a good start simply because it is a real plant, it is real vegetation, and uh, it has a good, uh, uh, a good starting point as, uh, as a tree, okay? And it is perfectly in scale with uh, Lemax uh, Christmas Villages, Lemax Buildings, etc. It simply needed to be managed a little. But you haven't seen me using it for now, but in the next minutes, in the next hours, yes! But those are good, those ones are good for small vegetation, for small trees, not giant trees. From the same cellar, I found, I think, something even better. And this is a gigantic, huge, huge carton box, guys. It is huge. It is 80 centimeters, I think. This is a 50, 50 here, plus uh, 26. Uh, 76 centimeters by <laughs> by 40 centimeters and uh, 35 centimeters tall. So it is a huge carton box that I received uh, uh, three days ago from the same seller. I both I will try to hide some <laughs> of the names. Uh, I received it three days ago, as I just said, and the same seller has really good real stuff, stuff uh, took from uh, nature. Uh, inside I hope to find some to help me improving even better the vegetation of the Christmas village, of this 2024 Christmas village. Uh, it is not heavy this box because vegetation is not that that heavy, I will open this and put this like that, like that. Inside, guys, you are already seeing it. I have uh, something even bigger, guys, but look. This is smelling so good. Those are thyme, thymus, thymus plants. Thymus thyme is another spicy and 
uh, cooking spicy and you use only the tip of this plant, the foliage and the flowers as spicy. Um, the rest, the branches the, uh, and the rest of the plant is not usable as a spicy. But look, these can be a fantastic, fabulous tree, giant tree. Obviously, I will need to trim something, the flowers, etc. and to add. Look at how these can be transformed in some especially good looking trees. So the bark is already uh, old because those are from last season and uh, it is uh, treated so it is already free of uh, uh, other small animals etc, small insects etc. It's completely in dry but adding some flocage, adding some spicy this can be a fantastic tree, natural tree, not as modeled, not as printed because these are grown in nature and I have several of those, look at this one and this is in scale to add some giant trees because all the giant trees exist so this is almost 40 centimeters I think obviously I will need to trim them, no this is 45 centimeters tall but I have a different sizes this is the smallest this is just 37 centimeters and those can be transformed easily in some very special good looking trees okay look at this one it is like this such as bending then growing up etc I have uh, ordered, I think, 20 of these plants. Look at this one, and they are all different. This one is uh, even better. I need to trim it because uh, only the tip is uh, as a good tree, but uh, these need to be trimmed, cutted. Obviously, I cannot use such tall uh, branches, such tall pieces, this is uh, some more 40 centimeters. But if I start the tree from here, absolutely amazing tree will be, will be the result will be an amazing tree. And uh, others are smaller and this one is small, but I have 20 of them to play with and uh, not one similar to another one. That is uh, nature. Nature, mother nature is like that. And I can simulate whatever I want. I will get perfect trees, I think, with these. And if you can <laughs> cultivate some thyme, some thymus or thyme in your uh, garden, please do it because this is the result and those are not usable. Each season, the time, the thymus can grow these uh, tall. You use the tip for your cooking needs, then the rest, when the season is over, you cut it and use. Unfortunately, I don't have a garden, but I think you can uh, plant it on your balcony if you want, etc. I don't have time to get it done, but these can be also planted by yourself and this one also it is a good tree because nature is, mother nature is like that. You will need to get some really exciting things from those plants and they smell so good. The thymus uh, or thyme is uh, an absolutely amazing spicy and you can use this one needs okay look at the wind what can cause the wind so this is how this branch was and then the wind pushing because um, the seller has uh, <laughs> such uh, an amount of uh, um, 
of a country etc okay he lives in plain country so we can manage to to cultivate those ones and the wind caused this and even a tree near a lake near a valley could go with this form here too tall obviously you will need to trim but i i don't think to use them as they come i will need to work on them so I think I've shown you every one. This one is a little one, but goes with the wind. Okay, uh, I will cut them. I will work on them a little to get what I want to achieve with those ones is some particular trees, some particular uh, trees for each of the left side houses okay uh, each tree will be a distinctive characteristic of the left side houses okay and uh, some are uh, strange some are good etc uh, this one is poor I know but cutting it here I can get something so the price not the the cheap uh, not the cheap uh, price I ever met but those trees because those are real trees are four euros each and it is Absolutely not for double price, guys. So four euros is like four USD for you each uh, plant for each item I have in this uh, box, okay? And uh, perfect, I think. Okay, I don't know right now the final result, but this can be an amazing. I never tried, okay? This can be an amazing result, I think. I never tried to work with such, with such uh, uh, items, okay? But uh, I will do, I will choose the, the most suitable one to start and then use them. So I can work on 20, 20 trees and they are some are huge guys okay and uh, uh, the seller is uh, a master of uh, creating uh, christmas uh, creeps and you know how uh, important is the tradition of uh, christmas uh, creeps in italy and uh, the seller use them to create uh, old olive trees you know that olive trees are very important in the Christmas creeps tradition because it is uh, the tree of peace okay uh, especially during the spring during the Easter uh, season uh, generally in Italy but I think in every Catholic, uh, Christian Catholic uh, churches, um, some small branches of uh, uh, olive trees are distributed in each um, church as a symbol of peace, okay? So uh, it is called uh, the um, peace olive, okay? Uh, olive tree okay so it uses to create th this seller use them to create uh, centuries and centuries old uh, olive tree olive trees okay and this is perfect this in a uh, christmas scripts is like having a 300 years or 400 years tree each time you cut and then you have just the top of the tree producing the olives and uh, olives in that period of time 
where and olive oil was a must was the perfect trading uh, item okay so thank you to that seller that is fantastic in doing amazing jobs uh, with his uh, Christmas creeps not suited for me but the items he sells yes it, it's not selling too much items but uh, Aristata the Teloxis Aristata and those uh, small Timus not a small but small in nature uh, and gigantic for now for my Christmas village they are simply perfect okay enough I will let you see once I progress well it is time to advance a little more with the second team section I was at this stage here uh, with the motor there and then I added the wires in a groove and then added some the, uh, tape I simply reduced the, the width of the tape of camera what I want to achieve is somehow complicated to do just with styrofoam okay or other elements or other materials such as uh, wood and other type of plastics um, when I can I will use some standard materials to complete this but I will need to integrate obviously some 3D modeled and 3D printed elements uh, because these will take, I repeat, a long time to, uh, to complete but I need both technologies, old and new technology let me mark five centimeters from the bottom from the top okay like that then here on the side here I will add this baby here this is a, a tank an under pressure tank that I modeled and then I hope it will sweat there because I haven't tested it but I think I got it almost right because one thing is modeling something with straight lines on uh, the uh, computer on the PC another is getting it to fit what I already did so it was it is made with a cylinder and then alpha sphere on top then i cut it i eliminated the part that will be joining what i have here the starting point so i used some booleans so i subtracted this part here from the cylinder with the alpha sphere there once i've superponed there once I made them uh, not confining like that but overlapping once against the other so I cut there in order to have these to fit perfectly there and having the impression that the tank the under pressure tank is uh, once was an under pressure tank now it is not more functional as this is you have already guessed it somehow old ruined or junk okay uh, but it is not completely a junkyard okay uh, I will not tell anymore so as this was integrated there I simply need to clean it a little more on the base there then obviously I have uh, some uh, containers, some bands, some metallic bands that contain the under pressure tank otherwise it will explode 
and I also added some rivets or some bolts if you prefer but those are modeled as being rivets okay and then and I will glue it I think like that with the epoxy glue because I need this to be quickly I cannot use super glue because the glue will the super glue will melt the styrofoam and I don't want that to happen okay I will fix this like like that I think like that let me prepare some uh, some epoxy glue two components component A and component B I think will not use a lot of it A tank an under pressure tank without pipes mm -mm. it's not working because if it is a, a, a tank containing something under pressure you need pipes to transport whatever it is water uh, oil uh, gasoline uh, vapor wherever you want you need some pipes so i will try to use some pvc pipes like those ones this is uh, if i can read it correctly 12 millimeters in diameter pipes and i will make some junctions with the pipes okay so I will need to connect them somehow, uh, vertically and horizontally. Okay, uh, and I will try to get some pipes getting out from the tank and getting in this pipe here, then getting outside. I don't know if it will be uh, easy achievable I will try to cut a vertical piece of this um, Okay, while these cure a little more, like 
that. Okay, let me cut a long enough piece of pipe because I will need to make some curves. Okay, so I don't need, uh, I don't know how long I will need it to be. But if it is too long, I will cut it then after. Let's say this long here. Okay. Then I will get it there, then a curve and then going this direction there okay so first thing first oops i need to make a curve of 90 degrees i think there <coughs> but as always pipes tend to do the worst a very bad um, <coughs> corners okay so I need to fill them with sand I've already used this technique uh, in 2022 I think uh, for the uh, steampunk uh, team at uh, Christmas Village so I will fill the pipe with some sand in order to get an almost correct bending curve corner.
Sorry, I have I always have dirty hands, but it is like that. Okay, uh, the plaster here needs to to dry a little more. Uh, maybe I will add a second uh, um, a second layer next time. So from the tank. Uh, goes up here then enter this pipe here that also goes here inside there then the pipe also go uh, through the big cylinder that you have here and gets outside here then going towards the floor so it is somehow I know that this part will be added because the important part will be the front part but if uh, the camera gets uh, a little from the side it will uh, also take this, uh, this point of view uh, I will leave the plaster uh, roughly uh, done like this because it will also help me uh, getting rusty uh, pieces or rust along the, the pipe uh, once it is dried and painted uh, because this is scrap, this is junk, this is no more used but uh, I think this can uh, work like that right now it is not in because it is not painted uh, what else guys yes I also covered the all uh, of the mo where I slid in uh, I slid in the, um, the motor it should make less noise now uh, even because also because the pipe here is pushing against the, the piece of styrofoam that I have here then I miss some other parts here and there I don't think I will add some more pipes there but I will need a cover here for the pipes the, the pipes don't work like that open like that maybe a valve there and uh, yes I will uh, finish this update on the second team at section adding something here on top of here but first I will clean my hands so the last item I will add to the second team session for now is this cap here. It is a metallic cap uh, with some ventilation on top of it and 11 bolts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 bolts on top of it to close it. And I will simulate the cap of these um, central cylinder here that once I will, uh, will paint it it will be another piece of technology added to this uh, section here like that and I will simply uh, use some double-sided tape to connect it to to the uh, main cylinder there and for now I will pose the the second timid section so guys I decided to work on these will to be three for my 2024 Christmas Village it has to be modified I knew it since the day I ordered it simply because uh, this kind of vegetation this kind of spicy this time this time as everything as lavender as other uh, spices that grow like this always get other branches beside them so it's like having a flat 
a flat tree. But a tree goes 360 degrees around. I cannot use simply this one. I have to modify it uh, because uh, otherwise it will, it will not represent as much as possible the reality. Then uh, those uh, uh, spices there tends to go with the, where they can because the, you have something else be, beside them or the branches so they tend to search for the light for the sunlight as every tree is do and if i use these like that this certainly was a little like and that but trees it's difficult to have trees such inclined like that. Look, if this is the, uh, if this is the, oops, the ground like that, it is difficult to have a tree that goes ah uh, and then goes there. If it goes like that, then the branches should go like this because the sunlight is vertical. Otherwise, these cannot grow like a tree. Uh, foliage and branches tend to search for the sunlight that normally is um, vertical to the ground. So even if I use these totally like this, uh, maybe like this, this is too inclined. So the weight of this part is too heavy for supporting this inclination here and the uh, the bending the inclination and the tree will crack it's not possible to have this in nature so i will need to modify it cutting uh, regluing etc and then add some branches in other direction and i will use those branches especially because those are too uh, too tall okay for uh, a tree that said the first step to do is identify what i want as a main tree i certainly want this part here that is that has those yellow parts that are no more than uh, moss or lichens okay uh, that are real and not added by me so I think that these branch here and up until here this point here will be the main tree for me then the rest I will cut some of them and then re-glue them where I can so one two three maybe four main branches there and i will try not to waste anything but this part here of the down of the lower section of the of the tree uh, is too short so i will cut then modify it then reuse a part of the of the bending part here okay it is a pity not to use it like this because this has been made by mother nature but it is good for a plant for a spicy plant it is not good uh, for a tree so you need to pay a little of attention and go slowly because you don't want to damage anything so i will use sometimes some cutters like those one and a smallest one but also uh, a saw like this one because chopping the wood because this is wood real wood chopping it with uh, these uh, cutters here um, will ruin some part of the branches etc so i will use like in nature you do with some wood you use a saw 
then I will also use some some smallest cutters like those ones okay so let's start trying not to do a mess
Okay, so I added this direction here and this direction here. So I added this branch here and this branch here going both ways. I will need to trim this because this is timus time. Okay, then I will trim this one. And for now, I will not trim any other things. Okay, so it goes this way, it goes this way, and it goes this way. And all trying to get a decent amount of uh, light, of sunlight coming from, from the sun, from up there. Okay, now uh, those obviously I will keep them for next tree if I will need them. But, and also these, maybe I will add some, um, some roots there like this, but right now I don't need them like this. So what more than this as a natural tree, guys, okay? But I will not stop here. I will try also to add some little branches of Deloxys Aristata here, especially here, to get uh, to enlarge the foliage once I start uh, um, flocking it. So let me try to get some uh, little branches of Deloxys Aristata. Okay, with the Deloxys, it changes the aspect. I think uh, enough with the Deloxys. Now I will do some painting because the Deloxys is too yellow. I will add some between brown and the grayish, then I will complete the, the wood there. And then finally the foliage.
good the tree is ready uh, I think that I've left uh, uh, enough white spot uh, because it is supposed to be in plain winter okay now let's do some flockage on on this little guy here and uh, let's see <coughs> the result I will proceed branch by branch the uh, spray glue and for this purpose I made a little tool here to get even flockage on everything okay so I will add some spray glue This is the third house for the right side of the layout. I'm starting with the roof there. You can see here a chimney. And here I have some tiles, gray tiles, uh, similar to the uh, green house you have already seen, but has also some flat uh, metallic uh, roof. And this one has the advantage to have also on top of the roof a space for adding some benches, some tables or some trees. So a space there and also uh, an entry there, okay? Also um, a door to get access to, the, uh, to this over the roof balcony, let's call it like that. Uh, this one has a, a big chimney like this one and this is the front guys this is supposed to be an important house maybe the mayor house maybe um, i don't know uh, something important something having a couple of columns having a frieze there and also this side here this angle here that you can see here is pure Victorian. I modeled it pure Victorian as this is a, a, a corner uh, with bow windows, another one with um, uh, some uh, uh, mini roof on top of this window. So the windows stores are uh, uh, much darker uh, blue than this is pale blue or teal. Okay, not every window has a store for the windows. Okay, this level here, yes. The second level, yes. The first level, no. The third level, no. And the uh, top uh, level under the roof, no. I've used the same technique of uh, adding uh, inside some uh, uh, transparent plastic with some tape simulating uh, some curtains then the entry has also gold there and uh, the chimney is here no and fro from the back here um, the plug to get one two three four led switched on uh, because this is, uh, once again, a house that has light inside. Not curtains on every window, those two windows have no curtains. And this one, no, this one, because they are too small, okay? Too small. 
and uh, <coughs> inside it is I cannot remove the roof but inside there is some uh, brown uh, floors okay nothing else uh, what else no secondary entrance just the main entrance for this room there so from the other side no secondary room uh, secondary entrance but it has two doors because there is also the one to get access to the uh, to the roof okay then some uh, maroonish bricks as the base then everything else is uh, wood I think this is yes no I, I still have one house that is uh, wood built on uh, with wood and the rest the other trees are a mix of uh, bricks and uh, wood uh, so color here it is uh, some sort of dark ivory for the rest of the house it has a freeze there uh, hell to model uh, hell to <laughs> 3d print and to paint because of these tiny little things when i model something i i always say okay good it is a good addition but i forgot that then i will have to paint it and painting such small items there wow so this took as always three hours three hours and a half to paint and so another house uh, it is 20 or 25 centimeters it is a square red plant it is no 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters tall 20 centimeters and the diagonal is a little more it is 25 centimeters because there is this section here maybe some important uh, office room there okay some office room but i also like this one and i think i will place this next to the blue mansion because it is another important house uh, i think i made oh yes this is a uh, fake windows that i added there and four levels i've said everything yes the two columns to get importance to the to the entry uh, okay that's all for the third house to be added on the right side of the layout. Final recap of part 12 of the 2024 season and I am starting from the last addition to the uh, right side houses, the light blue house that you have seen from every angle during this part 12 and then now stay, stand besides the blue a giant mansion there uh, it is an important house maybe the mayor's house or the municipality up to you to decide or up to me but right now i don't know but it is not that big the blue mansion is gigantic but it is i think a good addition i wanted to prove that uh, houses having a similarity in architecture having common similarities can survive in a Christmas village uh, those two have roofs almost uh, done in the same way they have a square head uh, base um, bow windows and they are similar like houses were uh, during Victorian era just a small differences uh, and the two there are <laughs> similar to the green one that is here uh, the same uh, design the same elements so <laughs> similar houses are good for a christmas village they give continuity to a christmas village then i started adding some green vegetation 
along the right side of the lake and the uh, river. I tested some other uh, trees, those are plastic trees, but mm, they can mm, survive also then there. Um, there is not just one type of trees of vegetation around a lake or a river. Uh, multiple species can survive together and then I also start adding for test some small amounts of snow on the on the on the tree there uh, it just it, it is just a starting point sorry but I will continue like that and even from this side vegetation is overlapping the border and getting also into the water as uh, vegetation tend to do uh, along uh, water, along a river, along a lake. Okay. Then the new building added is the nutcracker and, and the car with the nutcrackers, so the toy maker. And I placed it uh, just beside the pub. I've uh, used the natural curve here of the of the river to to try to find an accommodation for some more buildings and even here you have the class confectionery that it is smaller than uh, than the other two that get there i left a passage there uh, to add some more i don't know stands some more uh, market stores or market stands there uh, and here there is a still the opening to get access to the uh, to the ramp that get everyone towards the two gigantic houses. Obviously, I will need to add some uh, um, micro scenes around the two buildings up there. Then I tested the, the Teloxis Aristata and uh, I placed some foliage on them. It gives a variety of uh, trees all along the river and uh, the lake and they seem to be uh, almost uh, natural vegetation like that and this one too. So I painted um, the bark, the simulated bark of the uh, Teloxis Aristata that uh, once dried is a yellowish with uh, two layers of different browns then I simply added the foliage with the uh, spray glue you have seen me using two times three times now okay and uh, I don't think it is a bad solution and it is a very cheap solution uh, to use uh, the Teloxis Aristata and especially because with Lamax or other brands trees are always the same uh, you can't get different type of trees there are let's uh, let's say 10 different types of trees and you have to use them or maybe 15 and you have to use them uh, over and over again but but they are all the same eight uh, they have all the same eight and they are all of the same uh, design those trees made by with Thaloxis Aristata they yes they miss some snow but the glue was too fresh to add also some white and uh, th they are completely different from each other so it should make and they are curved not completely straight as uh, uh, trees from Lemax are you don't have any trees that go this direction yes you have uh, uh, some of the trees that have uh, uh, just branches and they are uh, like the butternut trees that they have some branches bending a little but almost all of them are uh, vertical those ones are far from being vertical and they go in every direction like real trees do. I will experiment uh, even more with the Teloxis Aristata, I will add uh, many more trees. 
another couple of trees are here guys along the left side and uh, they will help me get some realistic effect and this is where i am with the uh, second team at the section with all those pipes that are curved that are not perfect because this is junk and uh, uh, as I told you, I know that the backside uh, won't, uh, will not be visible once completed, but if you get the camera rolling from one side, for example, okay, from one side, from this side, you can get uh, an, a, a, a glimpse uh, of, the, um, of the back with the pipes that for now they are not painted but I will paint them and uh, they are not and uh, the second teammate section is not hiding the Rebecca's house and the uh, Rebecca's trees that now has some uh, snow I added a, a new compound, I used a new compound that simulate um, a texture that it is um, not fresh snow but uh, uh, ice uh, snow that is no that is there that have been there from some times and snow was missing from the tree uh, now Rebecca's and the other Rebecca I think can get a look to what it is the tree with uh, some snow on, on it and I haven't I even added uh, some snow on the on the bar there okay and it is a st it still needs to be completed but now even the tree is there i've uh, pushed a little more the docks towards the water uh, in order to fix it then i will add some soap all around and here guys there is no more the school because it was not suited for this section here and now there is a blacksmith more suited for what will be there um, blacksmith the ancestor of the of mechanics okay and the school now is uh, say hello to the band they are just uh, uh, rehearsing a new song right now and uh, the school now is here just beside the uh, greenhouse i need uh, some uh, tall buildings to act as a background from for the right uh, side there and i will add some more buildings uh, no more buildings there no i don't think so I have Claire's Nutcracker, the new house as a new building for this part. Now let me go to the graveyard for a moment. I've added some more styrofoam in the back so I could uh, slide the graveyard towards the um, the mountain now it is a symmetrical uh, three segments one one two three for the right side and three elements for the left side that means that from the back you have seven elements it is huge i know but there it will suit what i have in mind for the future and uh, uh, thank you for the suggestion how to not have a completely um, Halloweenish <laughs> graveyard. Okay, I will add some uh, uh, Christmas uh, rats there, uh, but I don't have them. But I will buy them as soon as I will go to the Christmas department store. I could obviously buy them online but why <laughs> when in just some weeks I will go to Paraga store 
Mm, I think uh, during uh, the weekend of uh, October the 12th, okay? Uh, hoping that uh, Peraga uh, already opened the uh, Christmas department. Now guys, the star of this part 12 and you have seen where I started from uh, it's not uh, completely done because it's missing uh, some parts towards the roots and uh, some snow but the, the spray glue was too fresh to add even more things on the branches but each houses as its proper tree and for the left side even this one will have its proper tree and then whatever houses will be there will have its proper tree and i will do them with this technique here using the base the thymus or thyme base uh, plant the thymus or thyme plant base modified it and even there uh, i've um, i think i have managed to get continuity with all the um uh, sorry for the noise guys uh, i was saying uh, i think uh, i have managed to get continuity even uh, with the wood with the trunk with the tree trunk there uh, even if i have segmented it in multiple pieces but it is somehow not that bad i think but um, I i'm not the one who must judge this result here and from other side too uh, it is uh, different from uh, other trees obviously it is uh, time consuming but not as time consuming as creating a tree from scratch using uh, some uh, iron wires and uh, as maybe you have seen many people do to create uh, personal uh, trees uh, this is real wood <laughs> and uh, it's more uh, a real tree a miniature real tree because it's not man-made but it is um, mother nature made and i simply modified it adding or cutting some pieces but every branch everything is pure natural from the thymus plant thyme or thymus plant to the Teloxis Aristata I added to improve the foliage, uh, to the foliage themselves that is spicy, that is persil and oregano, oregano. Everything is natural. Yes, the only thing that is not natural is the glue I used and even from the top, guys, uh, you have the impression that this is a real tree, at least in my small opinion and you even have the shadow of the tree on the uh, house roof it is too naked the base of the trunk is too naked i will need and the bark uh, i think it has a good result result let's get towards where i have more light and get a closer look and the bark here even where i cut it and use some plaster yes also the plaster is not natural but it's a minimum a minimum quantity the rest is the everything else is a pure natural and the glue is there and the, the foliage is sticked to the glue uh, i still need as I already told you to, um, oops, maybe oh, 
I still need to add some snow and the base, etc. But it will not take too long to complete it. A completely new, fresh technique with this tree. Not too complicated, you have seen. It's just a matter of imagining what you want to achieve and then just cut here and there the original uh, thymus plant and then glue, glue and do a foliage. Tyloxis aristata plus thymus, uh, I think the uh, all the cost of this tree is around, I think, 7 euros, 8 euros or 8 USD maximum but it is a massive tree, uh, like all the trees should be. There are tree in nature that even with a small trunk can get very tall and have a very wide uh, ramification, very wide branches, and this is uh, the result. Uh, what else, guys? I don't know. It seems... <laughs> that I've worked slowly and not enough but maybe you are right but I needed to focus on this and it would have been much more simple for me to model everything uh, and then 3D print everything but I wanted to show you that uh, standard materials can coexist with 3D printed ones and you can get a decent result. Right now it is not decent as a result. It still means uh, plenty of things. But then, but then I will not reveal anything more. Buildings. Uh, uh, I still miss some building because it is too naked there especially here it is too naked then the the important uh, part of this left side will be here guys the life of the left side will be here not as at the same level as the plaza that is there guys that is up there but uh, it's starting to get uh, a good a decent not a good a good a good aspect is for a, a later time a decent aspect and uh, details are important and I will continue with details in the next weeks I should absolutely start uh, priming some of the stairs etc and painting then adding also some uh, walls on these naked uh, styrofoam even on the uh, ramp I did last time um, what else guys it's all I think yes uh, nothing more important no uh, let, let's count the buildings one two three the tower four five the house there Five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's call this twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, missing one, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and two, twenty one. Up right now, there are twenty one buildings. I haven't counted the stands, the stores there. Uh, 21 building but I have uh, some more space left maybe another small building here maybe another one here or something else here a park or a fountain why not a fountain yes I'm missing fountains um, fountains add movement to every and single one of the your villages uh, water games or fountains or water features always bring movement to your 
uh, Christmas Village. Right now, I uh, simply have these as movement and uh, will to be dancers there rotating around the second team section but not movement at all there and and here guys so maybe i will start thinking on some on some fountains some of, of some yes i have the lemax fountains as you know uh, i made during the here's some more personal fountains i will not use the windmill this season uh, there is no train so there is no movement but fountains add movements i will try to find a solution to add some more movements and then also some christmas tree decorated decorated christmas tree with uh, lights in movement uh, yes i miss in movement then here yes thank you for your suggestions for how to get access from the ground level that has in common this passage here the gothic arc uh, tunnel gallery and rebecca's house and then and there uh, i'm still <laughs> calculating and sketching some uh, some uh, possible solutions but the space is limited i don't know if bridges will work i don't know ramps mm. Uh, too steep to 20 centimeters are very steep with these just these 30 centimeters there 35 centimeters there uh, I will try uh, some solution for next time that's really all guys see you for the outro Teloxis Aristata Timus Teroxi Aristata, Timus or Time. Yes, please, Mac, an opera cake, but a giant one and with 12 candles. Thank you, my man. When you face a new technique and you use new materials, it may seem time consuming. And for me, Teloxi Aristata and the Time or Timus plants were a first. Never did it before. Not by myself, not even on camera. But I don't think it is a bad result. Perfectable, yes. I still have another 19 uh, Timus uh, plants to experiment on them. But as always, in, it's not up to me to judge. I'm still in big trouble with how to access the last 20 centimeters of uh, level 8 to get access quickly to the uh, graveyard section but I'm working on my calculations and my uh, sketches some new buildings you have seen the pale blue new building and details they were lacking with details with not a small amount of details but much more details, as much details as you can, a Christmas village comes to life. As you have understood, I will not use too many Lemax trees and Christmas trees because I want to go ahead with the Teloxis Aristata and other um, and uh, the giant uh, trees maybe it's exaggerated to have a singular tree for each of the houses but why not this to be the characteristic of this new 2024 christmas village i know maybe the statue maybe other things but the village of the trees maybe maybe accepted please uh, don't forget to subscribe 
comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. And see you for part 13. But as always, only if you really wish. Bye, guys.